Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, Tom from TDT Tom's Tech Time. Today I want to introduce you into the techniques on how to update our DJI Phantom 3's firmware. And uh, doing this is pretty simple. It's a little tricky if we compare it with the DJI Phantom 2. And that's probably why we're all watching tutorials on how to get things done. But I can assure you, you're going to get things done as well. You're not going to damage your copter or something like that. We're all specialists, aren't we? Let me introduce you guys and girls on how to get this done right now. But before we get started, let me first off tell you what we need to be prepared. The German finger. <laughs> There is a list of seven things that we need to update our Phantom. So get these things here and after that continue watching this video. First of all, you need the DJI Phantom 3 with a fully charged battery. Next, you need the remote controller and that thing has to be fully charged as well. Next, we need a good internet connection plus a computer. Next, we need the micro SD card that is probably inserted uh, in the gimbal already. And we need a reader for it so we can use it with the computer. Next, we need a USB stick. And finally, we need lots of time because updating the Phantom takes a while, even though I'm going to break things down for you guys and uh, you don't have to watch my copter updating half an hour. Before we can update the Phantom, we first off have to download the correct firmware file. Click DJI.com, next click at support and scroll down until the DJI Phantom 3 appears. Now select downloads. As you can see, we can choose between two firmware updates. The difference is that one firmware update is for the Phantom 3 Pro series and the other one for the Phantom 3 Advanced series. Choose the firmware that fits your copter and press the zip button to download the data. Wait until the download is accomplished. Either double click the file to enter it or unzip it if you can't open it otherwise by using 7-zip for example, which is a free tool to extract zip files. Once entered the folder, you'll find two files. A PDF with instructions. and the actual firmware file, which is a .bin file. Remove the micro SD card that was inserted into your copter's gimbal and connected to the computer. Delete all files and folders that were stored on it. Now copy the .bin file onto the empty micro SD card. Now make sure your copter's battery is fully charged. If it is charged less than 50%, the update might not even start at all. Next, don't forget to remove the propellers from your copter and the gimbal clamp also. Leave the remote controller off during the entire process and make sure that your copter is turned off right now as well. Now insert the micro SD card into the gimbal and start the copter. Give the copter a few seconds to start the updating process. This noise tells us that the copter just started the updating process. Updating can take up to 25 minutes or even longer depending on the firmware update. Your copter now updates itself, the gimbal and the battery inserted. Don't be afraid if the gimbal turns itself on and off a few times or moves around or when you hear noises from inside the copter. This is just normal and part of the updating process. The update is completed when the beeping noise changes and sounds like this. To make sure the firmware update has been successful, we now remove the micro SD card from the copter and put it back into the computer. 
As we open up the microSD cards folder on our computer, we see these two files. One is the bin file and the other is a text file. We double click the text file. If it shows result success, it means that the update was successful. To update the remote controller, we now take an empty USB stick and plug it into the computer. We take the same .bin file that we've been using on the Phantom already and copy it to the USB stick as well. Make sure that your remote controller is fully charged or at least 50%. Now, insert the USB stick into the USB slot that can be found at the back of the remote controller. Now power the remote controller and give it a few seconds to start the updating process. A blue LED plus the 4 times beeping sound signalizes that the process has started and is in progress. This can take up to 10 minutes maximum, but usually it takes about 2 to 3 minutes only. After a while, the LED turns green, which means that the update has been successful. And again, if you want to make sure that the firmware update on the remote control has been successful, remove the USB stick and plug it back into your computer. If you enter the USB stick, you will find a text file again that you should double click. And again, if it shows result success, this means that the update was successful. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope this video was kind of helpful to you. I would be super glad if you would subscribe and uh, leave a thumb up and a comment and check out tomstechtime.com. Maybe leave a donation at tomstechtime.com slash donate if this was helpful to you. Or I don't know, join my Facebook group, facebook.com slash groups slash tomstechtime. Would be kind of cool to meet you again. And uh, now thanks for watching. Stay tuned. This was Tom from TDT Tom's Tech Time over and out.